Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I am on vacation, hence the different setup, but that won't stop me from getting a video done for the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel, so hit like and hit subscribe. I'm really excited today to play Nashi, Illusion Gadgeteer from the new Outlaws of Thunder Junction Alchemy set in Brawl. So with Nashi as your commander, you get a ton of ratty rogue value, and I think you're really gonna like it. This is a 4-4 rat rogue with Menace and Ward 2, and when Nashi enters the battlefield, you secretly choose a card in your graveyard and conjure a duplicate of it into your hand. If the duplicate isn't a land, it perpetually gains flash. So this deck is all about value. Nashi is all about value. When it enters the battlefield, you get a card, any card from your graveyard. It's a secret. The opponent doesn't know which one you chose, which is one of the advantages of being an alchemy card. On top of that, I've built in a ton of blink synergy, like Planar Incision, Siren's Ruse, Teferi's Time Twist, Asa Deep Dwelling, and I've included a ton of ways to double Nashi's trigger so that I get to get more and more cards out of the graveyard. Cards like Roaming Throne, Yark the Desecrated, those are going to duplicate our triggers. And on top of all that, we fill our graveyard and get access to sweet selection with cards like Sidisi, Brood Tyrant, Invasion of Amonkhet, and Ashiok Dream Render. If all goes according to plan, we'll drown our opponent in sweet, sweet rat style value because we're also just playing Sultai, which is full of good and amazing cards. So let's dive in. Let the Nashi Illusion Gadgeteer nonsense begin. Asa of the Ghost Council. Okay, we have a new commander showdown. Brainstorm with Fetchland. Sonic Duo. On the draw. What do we know about Tasa? That Tasa's intense. Starting intensity zero. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white and black spirit creature token with flying. Tasa intensifies by one. Spirits you control get plus X plus O, where X is the intensity. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile Tasa. If you do, at the beginning of the next upkeep, return it to the battlefield. And it has haste. Ooh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about any of that. Is this hand great? Got the invasion. Got the Thassa. Got a shield that it can blink. This hits non-token creatures, so it might hit Tesa, but the opponent can play around it. And probably will. And it has Brainstorm. I don't know if I should keep this hand, but I'm going to. That's my final answer. Bristlebud Farmer. That's a guard. <laughs> okay. Captain Eberhart. Oh, spells cast from among cards you drew this turn cost one less to cast. Spells cast from among cards your opponent drew cost one more. Taxes. Gross. Just when I thought we were here to play friendly magic. Ugh. Thanks, I hate it. Get our blue source. Get in the sewer. I mean, that's a card that can win a game. It's all about living that long, and I don't know if we will, but it's arguably the best card in our deck. Uh-huh. So we'll strike. Nothing. I like nothing. Brainstorm. You notice these all say they cost one more because of the captain? Well, I don't like you. What are we doing next turn? We should play the bat. That's pretty good. We don't need blur if we have Thassa. Bristlebud Farmer is a little sus here. But so is Invasion. It's either Invasion or Bat next turn. I'm not sure which it should be. 
think I'll put away the farmer. Definitely want to keep my, these lands. So we put those on top. We have what's called the perfect brainstorm. We crack the fetch land. And not only do we perfect brainstorm, we surveil. If we don't have the perfect draw by now, what are we doing? Timeless Witness is pretty good, but it's fine in the graveyard. It has eternalized, so it can come back. Basic land. Do we invade Amonkhet or do we hit him with the bat? Bat sort of clears the road, but they have mana open. Mana open could be many things, but something that's likely in black white is removal. And if they just remove the bat, we didn't really accomplish anything, whereas the invasion can get some value. The opponent reprieves the invasion. I don't know about that. I have some pretty good cards they might want to reprieve in the future. <gasps> that turns off ETBs! I've decided I don't like this player. It's mean, but it's true. I've decided I don't like them at all. All right, so you have to pay two more for your ETB. I guess I'll pay two more for my ETB. Does this have Vigilance? No. But we can still get some lifelink damage in, potentially. Yeah, there's a removal. I, I really don't like them. <laughs> you, oh my gosh, and look at these expensive cards they play. Yeah, I don't, oh. Okay, I really don't like you. Yeah, you have to pay two for that surveil. You just nomboed your own deck. <laughs> All right, do I run removal? I have run a sky turtle. That removes things kinda. I can channel it. I can channel it on the proctor. Is this a spirit? It is. I can channel it on the proctor. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then play Invasion. And then they have to recast the Proctor instead of their Commander or the Key to the Archive. And I don't think they want to do that. I think they'll play one of their 4-drops instead of the Proctor. That's what I think will happen. We are inching closer to Ultimatum. So they have to discard. We get to draw. We filled our graveyard with some... Scarab God value. They discarded the Proctor. Okay, well, that's something. Here's Tesa. The intensity has begun. Then they get to keep exiling it over and over and over again. Old Rusty. What are they going to play next turn? They'll either play the key or they'll play Ow, which is mean. I guess that means we should get Shieldred down and kill the captain. The captain's annoying. Is it that important to get rid of it? I kind of want land, to be honest. Ultimatum next turn could be everything. So what do I want them to think I got, is the question. I guess I could make them think I got Brainstorm. Here's Nashe. But what we actually want is a land. Ta-da. We play this land this turn, though. So that next turn we can ultimate him. We're gonna need a value explosion to win this game. Are you a spirit dragon? I bet you are. Ow. Yeah. Oh, no, don't, no, don't do that. Don't top deck declaration in stone and remove my commander. I really don't like this opponent. <laughs> you are upsetting me. We need triple green, we have it. We need black, black, black. I can get an island and Delta will do its thing. I cannot do the tower though, that would be bad. That does not pay for ultimate ultimatum. Boom. All right, how do we win? Time warp, breach the multiverse, vault born tyrant, I think, is a pretty good setup. 
a great setup, you might say. They don't want me to have the time warp into either one, but Vaultborn and Breach the Multiverse is really powerful. Yeah, they send away the time warp. This is going to be nasty. Scavengers. When it enters the battlefield, exile. We could also get Proctor, which I believe messes with their Tesa. Oh god, am I taking the Proctor now? I think I am. It messes with my ETVs too, though. And I still have a Vaultborn Tyrant. So no, that's a bad choice. It would be really funny. Flying as long as flying. Double strike, hexproof, indestructible. I mean, yeah, we should take this and get flying. I know that we could take the Skyclave Apparition, but it doesn't solve our flying problem. And from my graveyard? Big flying? Bat, maybe? Bat? I like the bat. Okay, bat. We could also get the Sky Turtle or the Vorinclex. Next turn, they might have Ugin to destroy one thing. Big 6-5 Turtle seems good, but I think Vorinclex is better. Into your graveyard I go. We munch on Strict Proctor. Where'd you go? You were there a second ago. There you are. Grab some value. I think we'll just get untapped land because of the way the game is going and we'll make them non-pain land because our life total is getting low. This card, a card, this forest. They scoop! Okay. <laughs> I know that took a while uh, when you're uh, working a remote on a slower computer. Clicking is hard. Okay. Don't feel too bad. They'll have another game. They'll be all right. Our opponent is playing Athreos, Shroud Veiled, another black-white commander. This one likes to bring things back from the graveyard, both yours and mine. Okay. Mulligan? Mulligan. Dark Ritual is a heck of a card. It doesn't always line up perfectly in this deck, though. This can probably get a Surveil land that might find us another land drop. We do have the Heartless Act. I'll keep it. Oh, they opened the door to the emo game. Let's go. Juggernaut Peddler. Let's see what they take. Juggernaut Peddler exiles a card from our hand, a non-land card, and turns it into a Juggernaut. <laughs> Four mana, five, three. Must attack every turn. Cannot be blocked by walls. And yeah, they take ultimatum. It's our best card. Get me... Breeding pool? Get me the sewers. And flux. Not a bad card. Not the right card here. And besides, it's in the graveyard now. Now she loves that. And a confluence off the top. Let's shock in this breeding pool. Bite that particular bullet. We can dark ritual out the juggernaut. Oh, aggro. This is not what I expected dark ritual to do in this game. But here we are. <laughs> I have become the beatdown. Nothing. Nothing. Get the confluence. Give me an arcane signet. Then we have heartless act available. Okay. Well, remember you made that juggernaut. <laughs> I find it interesting that they held it. They could have had an attack last turn, but they wanted to see what I'd do. They also know I have other pretty good cards. Jay's Louise. Okay. Well, a Heartless Act the Juggernaut Peddler because I definitely don't want Athreos to get a counter on it someday. When it sees a thing and they remove it. 
One job. Siphoner down to one. It can get back an Essence Flux, which is really good. <laughs> get back a Juggernaut. <laughs> now, nah, let's play Sadisi while the opponent doesn't have removal open so that we definitely get a zombie if we had a creature. But no creature. Fail. Three lands. Ugh. Why do you suppose such manual taps are necessary? Seems like you're holding Vanishing Verse or something? Combat? Is it the last second removal spell again? Is it? It sure is. Okay. Well, opponent, you think you're crafty. But you weren't crafty enough or you would have done that on your turn! You knew I had this in my grave in my hand you knew i had this in my graveyard <laughs> and we get a zombie outplayed fortunately for me my plan is on the battlefield that's it that's my plan so board wipe nothing very suspicious. <laughs> so, going for Nashi, I think, gets us in trouble. Let's try for the invasion. They've got removal, right? And they keep, they, they've shown us. They play removal at the last second. That's how their deck works. Discard Kaya, wow. Let's Uro. Oh, we have the mana. Uro, very powerful with cards like Sidisi. Fill that graveyard, turn it into Uro fodder. I want my invasion to flip, right? Right? A shieldred could be nice, a juggernaut? A juggernaut peddler. Ooh. Also, if they remove something right here, maybe we just get it back. Ba Bam! Wandering Emperor, straight out of standard. Fight, but I'm going to end it. Exiling CDC feels real bad for us, but we weren't going to make a zombie anyway. Are you going to put a plus one, plus one counter if you block? Oh my god, don't let me have it. That would be crazy. They did let me put the Siphoner. Well, it doesn't go in the graveyard. It goes in the deck. They kill the Siphoner. That went to the graveyard. It would have been so good for me. Cruelty of Gix. Demonic Tutor. We're getting that Juggernaut Peddler. They're going to... We're going to break their heart. Should also get the Uro out of the graveyard. Oh, they make a samurai. See, they're smart. They're playing around it. May your blade strike true. All right. Can we get to this invasion for two damage? They're going to chump here. They've got one card in their hand. How do we do something about that one card in their hand? We could get a wash away. We could get a pact of negation. We could get a heartless act, remove the token, get a juggernaut peddler, give them a juggernaut. Probably better just to counter whatever they're about to do, right? Probably. Okay. Here's Nashi. Give me Pact of Negation. It has Flash, ha. Huh? One, two, three. We hold you back to bring out Uro. Have to block to prevent the invasion. Green, green, blue, blue. Bro coming out of the graveyard. Let's clear away any creatures we don't want cruelty to take. 
There we go. Ice tunnel. Hitting lands. Doing it. Alright. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. I think they might get me a juggernaut. Nope. They go for overseer. They really wanted to get me a juggernaut there. I bet they got Breach the Multiverse or something super strong. Oh, yep, farewell. Farewell counts. Got the Juggernaut. Go there. They'll probably chump. Fine. Here. Here. Breach. And they scoop. Definitely should have made another Juggernaut. Brought the Drabic of Urborg. This is a Tempted by the Ring combo deck. This hand is good. We're actually on the play, ramping. Should have pretty good mana. Go for the throat. As long as we can pay the ward on Rada Drabic, gives us a chance. We have to go get green. Untapped. Which I believe leaves. Overgrown Tomb or Breach. We'll go with the Tomb. Because we have a river. Halfling. Halfling into Rejuvenator into Sidisi is a heck of a curve. No! <laughs> oh, God. No! Oh, I, that might be the first whiff on Rejuvenator I've ever known. At least it got us to a land, right? Oh my goodness. That was... That was... I am in shambles from that. Okay, we're gonna be better. We're gonna be better. It's gonna be fine. It's so fine. No, no creature. It's easier to whiff on Sidisi Brood Tyrant than Rejuvenator, but we are 0 for 2 on RNG in this game. Let's see if we can win anyway. That's the mission. When you hit, when you struggle, win anyway. Let's keep that on the board for the Court of Calling. And we're doing it. We're doing it. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I think I get a Sidisi. Sounds really good to me. Uh, let's cast the Lanor Elf. I don't think they're going to sweep the board. They're a long way away from the temptation combos. Even if they do sweep the board, if we follow up with Sidisi, we're feeling great. Rodrovic is here. Rodrovic's throat is going to be missing in a moment. The Siphoner means it can bring back Rada Dravic. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah. Bring back Rada Dravic. No, bring back Go for the Throat to kill Rada Dravic. What am I saying? Do I want to sit back against Elias Ilkor all day? Heck no, I got this Menace. Let's go. Anything? Combat? I think not. It's holding back three damage, so that makes sense. Do not attack. Okay. Siphoner. Let's go for the throat. That's the plan. Opponent's chilling. Not sure what they're up to, though. Expecting something with Flash. Gandalf the White, huh? Okay. You can double block. Maybe you will. Still, Rada Dravik's the thing we have to kill. There's your double block. I think this is fine. Mm. Hold on. We could get a Chupacabra and kill Gandalf.
We were gonna do that, we should have done it sooner. I'm trading Nashi with the Pilgrim now, no matter what. Yeah, let's hold. Oh, no, Gandalf is. You may cast legendary spells and artifact spells as though they have flash. Yeah, that has to go. That has to go. Ooh, take it hostage. That's pretty good. They might, they sh they're playing black though. They should have removal for this. Chupacabra. And now I get the Ilkor off the field and they d if they don't have a legendary board, it takes them a while for their Rada Dravic to put things together for the combos. So it's fine. Casting Nashi again and getting more value is also fine. Nazgul. Temptation begins. They have a 2 3 death touch. <laughs> they have more than that. Oh lord. Okay. Cool. The bat. Oh well, well. I suppose we should try to keep up with them on value a little bit. They don't have a sack outlet, so they can't go off. <laughs> Land tax. Oh, well, we don't care. Here's the DC. Let's see if we can make some zombies to block these Nazgul. They'll give us more options for Nashi. And we have a hit. Radodrobic. If the legendary one dies, they get a copy of it. Worth noting. So do I keep my Chupacabra on the board? Potentially blink, or do I block with it to make a copy? Let's let it, let's, let's put our Chupa Dupa in the graveyard. Hostage taker. All right, we've got to get the Rada Dravic. Yeah, so we have a ward cost we got to pay. Man, is that frustrating. We're in a position where we could take a Nazgul and cast it. First, we have to take care of the Radodrovic. We could wait for them to go to, for, to the combo. Siphoner, get back Heartless Act, pay Ward. I think I like that. Patience. Patience can be a win con. Enrica, yeah, they wanna sacrifice. Let's let them put the trigger on the stack. Go to combat. They choose. Each player sacrifices, probably. Because they get the legendary one back in response. We get Trixie with it. Get that in. Get that off the board. Now their choice is a little more permanent. And I definitely have fodder to sacrifice, so this is good for me. I think Elvish Rejuvenator is looking a little sacrificial right now. Can I hostage take Henrika? I'm a mana short of casting it the same turn. In that case, go for the Nazgul. Legendary one. Oh, they hate it. They hate the value. Beautiful. 